Um, we'll be back at the good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Oliver Campbell Mona, the CEO of Telstra International, uh, Shelley and Farid, um, the digital staff. I see members from the DPO Council over here too. Um, and your valued guests, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, when you have two wise people speak before you, don't expect to say much. So I'll be very, very brief. Um, we are, of course, very excited uh, to have Telstra now participate uh, with Digicel and in Digicel. Fiji, of course, uh, from a Fijian perspective, we believe Fiji offers the opportunities to Telstra uh, to increase their footprint. Uh, and also, what we are also very keen about is the opportunities that um, emanate for Fiji because of Telstra's participation in this market. Um, Fiji, of course, is the, is, the, is the hub of the Pacific, and not just geographically in terms of transportation, in terms of airline connectivity, but also in terms of the financial hub and telecommunications hub. And I think the, the synergy that can be developed uh, between Telstra and Fiji, and the policies that government has put in place, and particularly in the past five years with large-scale investment in the telecommunications sector, we believe will present opportunities both for you as a company uh, and for us as a country. We have a very young population. 70% of our population is below the age of 14. 65% below the age of 35. Um, we have over 635,000 authentic Facebook accounts. In a, in a country where you have only 890,000 people, that's a very large footprint. So our young people are very technologically very savvy. Uh, this is why we are partnering also with the Australian government in the BPO sector. Uh, government in last year's um, uh, budget uh, allocated funding to the BPO Council. We look forward to working with them also uh, in developing various uh, you know, opportunities for our people. The, there are other aspects, uh, and I, as I mentioned to Oliver earlier on, that uh, I think you're very lucky because you've got a very good team. Um, don't tell all of these things to Vodafone, but I think there's a particular edge that the digital staff actually have in terms of the ability to uh, understand what the market wants, what the market demands, and ability, just even from your advertising. Uh, to your ability to have very good PR. Uh, so you've got a very good team, and I'd like to um, you know, uh, say that you're very lucky in that sense. What is also critically important for us is that there are numerous opportunities, as I mentioned, in the e-ticketing space. We believe that more competition is critically important. We like to expand the e-ticketing to not just only you know, omnibuses or buses, but to also minibuses and uh, ships and taxis, etc. But we need that level of uh, technological advancement, and we look forward to those types of investments. I think it will be beneficial uh, to all parties. Government, as we've seen, in particular with COVID, we were very uh, drastically uh, affected by COVID. Uh, a country that's very much dependent on the services sector, 40% of our GDP directly um, uh, depends on the tourism sector. So we had a huge impact. We had a large economic contraction ever, about 17.2%. In 2020, last year it was about 4.5 percent. We expect to grow at, at about 12.4 percent this year, given the fact that the borders have opened up. But what we saw during the period was the the use of technology, and how critically important it was to ensure that every Fijian is connected, irrespective of where they live. We still have about 5 percent of Fijians who do not have connectivity. That last 5 percent is critically important. So ability to roll out unemployment benefits. Uh, almost $235 million was rolled out in unemployment benefits through mobile phones. The application was on mobile phone and your, you got paid on your money wallets. Very empowering. People don't have to line up and queue and you know, wait for long hours. Um, that was uh, extremely empowering. Of course, Zoom, etc., all that became the, the, the norm. And we believe as a country that the technological empowerment and accessibility at affordable pricing uh, is, critically, uh, uh, is critically important for us to develop as a country and to also diversify our economic base. Uh, we simply do not want to be dependent on one or two sectors, but to be able to grow the economy, have a diversified economy. With the pandemic, we think there are numerous opportunities. Countries like Australia and New Zealand may now want to move some of the operations to, uh, much, uh, to Fiji, much closer to home. And I think, again, we can work together in, in that respect. So congratulations. I know it was a bit of a um, long, long stride. But we're glad that we're able to uh, facilitate that. Uh, we hope it also means to you the message is that Fiji is open for business. We have a very liberal economy. Uh, we want competition. And of course, we ensure that the ease of doing in business in Fiji is improved on an everyday basis.
Congratulations once again. We welcome you. And we also would like to thank all the DSL team, all the members are here. Uh, your in-house lawyer, uh, Farid, uh, Shelly, uh, everybody worked really well together. I worked, I'd like to also acknowledge our, our team too. Uh, the acting PS for communications, uh, Vivek, they worked a lot behind the scenes to uh, get where we are today. Thank you.